How's it going everyone and welcome back to the Discovery's YouTube channel. Now here I've got today the Muso H80 Pro Ergonomic Office slash gaming chair. Whatever you kind of plan on using it, it can do both, not really an issue. I'm going to unbox this thing, see what you get, set it up and let's have a closer look at it. So stay tuned. Alright folks, so once you've unboxed everything, I do recommend double checking the bottom of the box to make sure if there's any loose bolts that might have come out from their packaging and then just rolling around in the box. It's always good to check that just in case, um, but check all that, take all the components out of its wrapper, get them all laid out and just double check there's nothing broken or you're not happy uh, with anything, it might sort of have some damage on it and then you know uh, to report that to Muso when you get it to uh, avoid any disappointment. So make sure you do check all the components and make sure everything's there. Now to check if everything's there, it comes with a nice big Hanley assembly guide. Check that out, H80. And what it does is it tells you how to use the chair on the back, all the features. And it also has on the front there, well, back to front, what have you, uh, all the instructions on how to set up this chair. So it tells you absolutely everything to do step by step. So there's 11 steps all together. Uh, the recommended weight is 150 kg, no greater than that to use the chair effectively or it might risk damage. And it tells you, you know, some safety information on it as well. So as you can see here, all the components we've got here, we've got the back rest there. We've got the actual seat pan that you sit on with the included uh, leg rest. We've got the head rest there. Uh, that is uh, separate as well. We've got two of the adjustable armrest. We've got the base uh, leg spider thing. Um, we've got obviously all the separate legs. We've got the adjustable base as well that lifts it up and down with the suspension strut. We've got all the um, uh, wheel casters. Um, and we've also got a bolt pack with a tool to help you get the thing set up and uh, get it all built. So it includes the tool with you so you don't have to have any special tools. It comes with everything you need and you've also got the bolt pack with all the bolts in there. So double check everything, make sure you have all the bolts because if you are missing something you, you might not be able to finish the build and um, you'll have to uh, report that to Muso so they can send you out some spares. Uh, or a replacement. Now let's get this thing built and check it out. Alright guys, so here's the chair finally built. Now, first impressions are really a nice chair. It wasn't too hard to build, quite straightforward with all the bolts that you've got in there. I've got a, I've got a uh, electric screwdriver which kind of helps because I've got the right bit and it just means you don't have to twist as much using the tool but you can do the whole thing with the tool, you just wish might, might get a bit tired. But you can easily put the thing together um, following the in-depth instructions, it's relatively straightforward. Um, just make sure you pay attention to the bolt lengths because a uh, few of the different bolts have different lengths So it tells you in the instructions which ones you need for a certain part Make sure you pay attention to that so you're not shortchanging yourself on the length and putting the wrong one in the wrong uh, Screw hole, okay? But once it is together here it is and uh, Let's go talk about some of the features on it. So we'll start from the bottom. We've got this nice kind of chrome uh, accented uh, base which looks really cool um, it slides around quite easily on carpet but you know you might be using it on a laminate where I'm sure it'll do a good job there's no rubber on the casters or anything like that for grip something to bear in mind but on carpet it works absolutely fine um, on the uh, bottom of the pan here we've got this really nice uh, pull out uh, leg rest so you can pull that out like that and then it allows you to, while you're sat on it, rest your legs on there if you want to have a bit of a chill. And then you can just fold it back. Uh, you can just fold it back down like that and then push it underneath and tucked out of the way uh, on the chair base, underneath the chair base. So it looks like you don't even notice it. So that's really, really nice feature. Um, uh, on the, while we're on the bottom of the pan here, as we can see, there's a little uh, two, two levers here. So the first one right at the back adjust the tilt 
of the backrest and also the height of the seat going up and down and the tilt of the backrest. And then this one, actually you lift it and you can slide the uh, pan, uh, it's probably easier when you're sat on it, but you can slide the pan, see that, that, forward and back. So if you've got uh, quite a tall, quite tall legs, long legs, then you can have it further out. And if you're a bit shorter like me, you can push it back like that and it goes all the way to the back and then you're a bit closer to the backrest. So you've got lots of adjustability in there. Um, the seat pan itself is made out of like this elastic -y kind of material. So it's not a cushion as such with foam padding. It's that you can actually see through it but it makes it really breathable. So if you are gonna get hot, you won't really do so with this because it's a breathable kind of mesh-like um, uh, fabric that allows air to pass through it. So you're not gonna get a sweaty bum if you sit on it for long periods of time while you're working, for example. So it's really nice uh, suspension, almost like uh, bounce back material. <coughs> and that material is carried out throughout the rest of the chair as well. So on the lumbar support section, you've got the same kind of material, <coughs> sorry, and then the back section there, same material and the cross on the headrest. The only difference in material is we have here on the side lumbar support, which is almost like a towel. It's a really soft kind of feeling, and it gives you that nice little hug there at the side of your waist um, to give you a nice little support there, as making you feel a bit more cushioned in as you move kind of side to side. So, you know, if you want to have a bit of a, you know, stretch or something like that, moving around in your seat, it's, it gives you a nice little padding at the sides there to keep you a bit more closed in which is pretty cool and here we've got some adjustable armrests as well so these uh, adjustable armrests come with a little chrome switch here which is a, is actually a metal switch it's not like a plastic coated with chrome or anything like that and if you press and hold it you can move the armrest up and press and hold it and move the armrest down really really simple now this is on the pro version the h80 pro and it comes with what's called a 6d armrest so six dimensions to this armrest just like it is an interstellar now what that means is you can move it uh, forward and back like that you can also go all the way like that and do a full 360 that's pretty cool isn't it you can do a full 360 and you can do um you can also go like that as well so you can move it side to side so you can do up down forward back tilt down like that or tilt flat or go straight around like that tilt forward uh, back you can pretty much do anything with this armrest really really cool stuff Headrest here on the back as well, which comes with a little uh, headrest plate here, that chrome plate to cover the screws, which is really nice that they thought about that. And the headrest itself is adjustable too. So you can adjust the headrest uh, up like that and down. Really, really easy. And you can move it, you know, like this as well. You can go like that to get it, you know, right in there at the back of your neck, keeping it really, really simple. On the back of the chair, quite a nice look uh, with this kind of framework that it's done. This is all kind of plastic. The only part, part I'd probably say is a bit cheap feeling is probably this plastic back. But to be honest, overall, the chair does feel solid. It doesn't rattle really uh, when you sat on it, so which, is, uh, which is nice to see, because I was a bit worried you know, with all the components, it might rattle a bit. This chrome piece is not metal, it's just a chrome piece of plastic, same with that one. Uh, but you know, it does feel a bit uh, a bit like flimsy, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off or anything. It's quite securely in there. So just bear in mind. Um, but overall, really, really good build quality. Now, when you're actually sat in the thing, so here I am sat in there. So let's see what it's like when I'm, oops, move myself to the middle there. So let's see what it's like when I get out this uh, footstool. Um, so if I get out that there and pull it forward and then open like that and check that out. You know, I'm chilling. Uh, you know, as you can see there, very much cool, awesome. How, how, are, you, how are you doing? And then you can move this uh, neck rest, you know, like that up and down like that. So I'm gonna move it about there where my neck is. Now, if you find that you can't quite get the back in the right place, 
but one thing you can do is actually move the entire back seat up and down as well without any lever. So how you do that is, uh, let, I'll show you, let me just put this away, so I'll just pull that down, move that to the bottom. What you need to do is on the back here, you can actually pull, you can actually pull this entire frame up, so like this, you hear them clicks? And as you can see with those clicks, it moved the whole back up, and then if you bring it all the way to the top, it releases it and puts it down to the bottom. So you can adjust the back height to your liking, which is pretty cool. Um, now, if you do want to say like at the moment, it's done it, uh, oh, if I just pull this lever out, I've got like free motion to kind of recline and bounce back and forth like that. Um, so that's the kind of way you'd use it with like this uh, footrest. So see if I get that footrest out, and I want to recline all the way back and then I can push this little lever in and then it locks the back in the recline position. I can put my legs up there and I'm chilling out, having a good time. Now, and then of course, if I want to put this back back, I can pull that out and then it's back in its upright position. I can put this footrest away and there you go. So, Overall, pretty nice stuff, ergonomics wise. I'm going to uh, put this into about there, much of a recline. I don't like it fully straight up like that. So I'm going to push it back just a little bit and I'm going to lock it in there. And now it's in my ideal position there. And then I'm going to get this headrest about there. That's about right. And it's fully resting my neck. Pretty cool, hey? Uh, now, these armrests are quite good in that, you know, there's lots of adjustability in them in terms of height, you know, uh, and, and depth. So if you are at a desk and you're trying to get the thing underneath uh, your desk or you might want it over your desk, you've got the option to kind of you know, move it up and down. Of course, you can pull the entire chair up and down by uh, pulling that lever up and then, you know, standing up. Obviously, you want both feet flat on the ground, so you can pull it down like that and then you're back in the lowered position. Um, so you've got that option too. So yeah, these are uh, 4D armrests. There's lots of things you can do with them. One of the features that I'm not really happy about is the armrest, has, you know, having on the back, say if you're leaning on it like this, it kind of flops down because that's one of the adjustabilities. And to be honest, I don't really see most people using it in that slanted uh, angle for me. I don't think that's a, a, quite an often use case. I've never been like, uh, I, d I don't see where that would be comfortable, like having it slagged down like that. And unfortunately there's no way that you can lock it in this position. So you can, uh, you're always kind of be like that maybe if you're leaning like that. So that's one of the things that the 60 armrest does. Um, but you can, uh, say adjust this forward and then lean on it like that or you can move it completely that way and then if I'm leaning there it's not gonna fall down because obviously the rock is in the other motion but it will fall down like that if I pushed on there do you know what I mean so I'm not too keen on that kind of movement um, I think it's a bit pointless I don't really see who would use it who would use that particular feature, but it might be something that you'd like, but that's not really something for me. Um, I find it quite annoying, really. Um, so I'm probably gonna leave it more like, like there, where it's a bit more further back, and I can get a bit closer to the desk then. Um, like there. Get a bit closer to the desk and you can do your typing away and then these things won't fall down. So that's a bit more, more secure with them further back. Um, and that's pretty much it really. Uh, and uh, I think that's about it. I mean, the seat itself has got some nice buoyancy to it, even though it's not really got a cushion, it's got that suspension. This is the kind of design that you typically see in wheelchairs, um, where they, you know, they need to be breathable, there's someone sat in, it, sat in it for a long, long period of time. You know, it contours to the shape of your body. Um, and it does a really good job with that. Um, so overall, I really, really do like this chair. This is the gray version. They do it in a black as well. Some variants come in a white, I think. The gray is like a bit of an in-between. Um, pretty nice stuff. Um, 
And that's pretty much wraps it, it, wraps it up. If you do want to buy it, there's a link in the description where you can go through to it and have a look at the product page. It does come in uh, quite expensive. Um, however, for the features that you get, I think it's quite competitively priced compared to some other brands. Um, it's much better than buying one of these gaming oriented chairs where they just look like a spark or race seat, which are really, really bad for your back and uh, your posture over long periods of time because they've got zero adjustability in them. This this thing has got loads. This is a proper ergonomic chair um, and you're getting quite good value for money considering how much things you can actually adjust on this thing and the build quality. And the shipping was really quick too. It came really, really quickly, about two days I think. So well, well recommended and easy to put together. So thanks Muso for sending me this chair. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comments and tell me what you think about the chair. If you need any advice on what uh, uh, any aspects of the chair of my kind of uh, thoughts. I've already kind of gone through it, but thanks for watching my video and I'll catch you on the next one.